There is a connection between church people and food. Us church people love our potluck meals, and we're going to share with you some of the strangest foods ever brought to a church potluck. So welcome to the Church Answers YouTube channel. Love for you to check us out at churchanswers.com, link below. Also, if you don't mind, like this video, hit subscribe. We'd love to uh, have more of your attention here uh, because that's what we're doing. We're trying to do a little bit of entertaining while at the same time informing. And I just got to admit that uh, this is a little more on the pure entertainment side. Uh, it, was, it was fun, though. We put this out on social media and uh, we started taking the responses. I actually manually tallied all of them on Facebook and Twitter. There were a lot of them. And uh, these top 12, boy, there were some that are in there <laughs> we, that could have been in there. We, we got hundreds of comments on this one. By the way, link below to the blog at Church Answers if you want to go check out the original idea to this. And um, well, we'll just... <laughs> the first one. Not, we just, we just got to get the first one. I'm not going to be able one. to do this without laughing. The first one. The first one is... <laughs> Alpo casserole. Alpo casserole. What type of church member puts Alpo in the casserole no, no, no. and then admits it? What, this is what's really funny is they actually said there's dog food in this. Somebody when they submitted that, somebody's got to be making that up. That can't be real. I don't know, that Sam. Can't be real. You have pastored what five churches? I've pastored four. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. No. 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 You're right. You're right. I. I could. I could start naming. <laughs> naming names. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Number two. Raccoon. I didn't. I didn't think you could eat. I, can you eat raccoon? Should you eat raccoon? Well, what do you mean? Can you eat raccoon? They said it was at the podlock. So obviously you're eating raccoons. Those are nasty animals. Oh. Oh, raccoons may be the nastiest animals on the planet. All right. Number three. Rattlesnake. Now I've had rattlesnake before. I've had rattlesnake too, and I'll never have it again. It does not taste like chicken. And it is the psychological thought of putting the satanic venomous animal in my mouth that just grossed me out. Oh, it's easier to handle the snake if it's fried. The same. <sighs> so this is the form of snake handling that you do. You you pick up I'd, the the fried rattlesnake. Is that it? Alpo, this, ca Alpo casserole is out for me. I'm in. I'm in with, uh, with the rattlesnake. But by the way, us Floridians down here... Uh, Gator is a real thing, and it does taste like chicken. It Th does not. It. It's a lot tougher. I've had one of those gator things before. It's a and little I'm not chewier. Don't but say it. It doesn't taste like chicken. Not everything tastes like chicken, and gator does not taste like chicken. Gator tastes more like leatherized chicken. All right. So somebody else also put liver mush. I don't know that I've, I've had never liver. heard of liver mush before. Is liver mush is that is it like a British thing? It sounds British. It sounds like that's something you would eat in England, and there's probably. Somebody from Great Britain going, yeah, that has nothing to do with us. I don't know. It just it just sounds like you'd walk into a pub in Great Britain and you'd sit down and you'd, you'd order liver mush. I don't know. I'll have a pint with my liver mush. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, the, but the word itself is not very inviting. So if you – liver – okay, Amy is now sending us a message. It's a southern dish? Did, well, did of I... course it is. <laughs> well. Okay, very popular. Um, and, and, and she said a lot of people defended this one. I, 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 I'm not familiar. So I love my liver mush. Don't make fun of my liver so, mush. Somebody, somebody please uh, send uh, a recipe to my father on liver mush. And uh, maybe we can do it at Thanksgiving or something. Dad. Mm -hmm. Yes. Info at churchanswers.com. Mm -hmm. That's, right. <laughs> That's not your email. <laughs> All right. Grilled chicken feet with intestines. No, grilled I, chicken feet and intestines. And people. There, it's not feet with, it's and, yes. Well, that is what they submitted. You know, I, I, I'd do this. I, I could, if, if if the feet are deep fried, um, yeah, okay, I'd try it. What else do you eat of an animal where you eat the feet, Sam? It's, I mean, Ooh. there's some people that eat pig's feet. Yeah, pig's feet. Yeah. But, I, but, but they're not right. <laughs> there's something wrong with those people. <laughs> I've actually seen. I'm look. I'm looking at Amy. I can't see Amy, but Amy, uh, you you spent a lot of time in the Panhandle of Florida growing up. Did you see any of those big jars that had pig feet in them, and you'd actually reach in the jar and get them at stores? Yes, she she's showing me big pig feet. Okay. Do you just eat them out of the jar? Or do you have to cook them? No, they're already pickled. <laughs> pickled pig feet. I, I mean, have heard of that. Pickles. Pickles. pickles so, feet. all right. If you're invited to a potluck. 
pickled pig's feet. That's what you're bringing. No one, no one will ever invite you again. Yes. Uh, somebody, number six, I like this one, armadillo cake. Cake, armadillo. It's one thing to eat armadillo. Cake. Well, what's an armadillo cake? I mean, do you put uh, brown sugar and icing on it? Or I don't No, know. I'm thinking more like a crab cake, except mm. it's an armadillo cake. I've seen too many roadkill armadillos to even <laughs> think about this. You used to only see them in Texas, but they're all over the South now. Yeah, we have them. We have them down here in Florida, um, but I, I'm thinking we have made them up the, here in Tennessee. I, I love that we're speculating on these. I didn't look any of these up. I just I'm just going by what people submitted. So I really don't. I'm not a cook. I'm not a foodie. I I eat pop tarts. So I don't I don't know. Um, uh, you grew up with your mother cooking. For listen, you. listen. McDonald McDonald's cheeseburger, no onions, extra pickles, and cherry pop tarts for dessert. Boom. I'm, I, that's that's the day. That the, the day is made. I'm, I'm, I love it. It's, it's not healthy. It's, it's kind high. of processed, but yes, it's, that's my kind of food. So, um, yeah, armadillo cake. If it's like a crab cake, sure. If it's a sweet, probably not for me. Uh, squirrel, <laughs> squirrel pot pie. And let's emphasize pot because you probably have to be high to eat squirrel pot. That is pie. not what it's referring to. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's, it's something. Right, can you can you imagine somebody bringing squirrel pot pie and it's and it's a it's a marijuana edible, you know, to the church potluck? Oh god! <laughs> All of a sudden, it becomes a flying squirrel. It's just there's like, like there's like a that. there's there's a segment <laughs> flying squirrel. There's a segment. You know, who's going to eat the squirrel pot pie? Then they don't know it's an edible, and the next thing you know, the people that did eat it are high. It would be a really really interesting church potluck. I don't recommend it. It's probably illegal to do that. So, you know, oh, you mean pot, the pot part of the squirrel pot part, pot, pot, pot uh, probably pot, both. Pot. I, you know, <laughs> squirrel, squirrel, squirrels are somewhat popular in the South, Sam. Yeah. Especially people who hunt squirrels and tree the squirrels. Well, that's, that's true. You, that's, you know, you know what kind of animal you use, what kind of dog you use to tree the squirrels? A beagle. They're one of them. It has, it needs to be a hound because they're going, Oh, oh, oh and just keep on barking until they get a squirrel. Boom! Like that. Of course, what oh. am I talking about? I'm not a hunter. Okay. Well, you know, I would try it if it didn't have, you know, drugs in it. So I would try it if it didn't have squirrel in it. Crow. That's got to be a joke. Somebody submitted that. Crow. Because I, uh, you know, eat crow. Eat crow. I don't know. It It was there several times. So you... <laughs> You know, we didn't, we, didn't go and ver- we didn't go and verify these. Uh, no, we did not. Um, I'm looking forward to the next one. Number nine. <laughs> coconut, coconut cake. cake. Coconut cake. I love, I love. An indoor white Persian cat. You know what? That was only submitted by one person, but I had to move it into the top 12 because it was so original. Oh, let's just let's just be straight up. This isn't real real research. We're talking about a top twelve. This isn't just the twelve that we picked. No, some of them were pretty frequently. I mean, Alpo obviously was an outlier, but there were a lot of squirrels and a lot of rattlesnakes in this. So, um, <laughs> coconut cake brought by a lady that has an indoor, indoor white, white Persian, Persian cat. cat. And, oh, oh, oh! I hate coconut. I hate it even more now. Oh man, pasta. Okay, so this is a real thing. Now, I know this is a real thing. Pasta covered in jello like back in the 70s didn't people just put everything in jello that's your era no it was more fruit in jello not pasta <laughs> i don't remember ever seeing pasta in jello i remember seeing different types of fruit in jello amy okay. do you remember any pasta in jello she said no well all right so <laughs> jello well, wait a minute now amy's your age so what but <laughs> You grew you grew up as a city boy. She grew up more as a small town country girl. So she 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 understands these somewhat better than you do. Even though y'all well, are around here, people. we don't put pasta in our Jello. We put fruit in our Jello. All right? Yeah, that's most people do. <laughs> and okay, back to the feet. We're back to the feet. Here's cow cow hoof stew. Cow at hoof least it's a stew. At least you're not chewing on the cow hoof. I guess it just gives it flavor. When I think of all the things and places where the cow hoof has been, I can guarantee you it gives it a lot of flavor. <laughs> and we got to round this out. The very last one of the top 12. Number 12, possum, not not dumpings. But dumplings. <laughs> dumplings. <laughs> you know, Again, I've, I've seen people eat possum before. I have not ever seen possum dumplings. I like dumplings. But if I saw possum dumplings, I would ask, are these real dumplings or are they something else from the 
from the possum. Possum are nasty animals. They're probably worse than raccoons, honestly. Yes, Possums they are. Filthy, filthy they, animals. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're a no. We're not that, that not that anyone who submitted this needed our opinion on whether we'd eat it or not, but I'm a no on the possum dumplings. Uh, Sam, I haven't found anything in the top 12 that I would eat, so I don't know what you're a yes on. Oh, I'm, I'm a yes on the rattlesnake. Maybe, no. the, liver, maybe the liver mush. You uh, don't know what the liver mush is, so don't even go there. I, I, You know, if I had to, I'd eat the jello pasta. I mean, it's That's pasta. the closest thing I would do to eat. It's it would jello. be kind of gross, but at least I know it's not some kind of roadkill. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us today. There you have it. The 12 strangest foods brought to church potlucks like, I <laughs> like this that. video. Visit us at Church Answers, where we are growing healthy churches together.